Welcome to the History Lord. You join us here and we're once again in the lovely Hyde Park and just behind me over there is the Animals in War Memorial. Uh, we did a video about that um, oh, some time ago and I think James, if you're so kind, you can put a link just up in the corner there. Today we are talking about what James has just shown you and that's Speaker's Corner. So think of freedom of speech. Most people do think of uh, a Sunday morning here with lots of debates, some uh, nicely contested, some hotly contested. But this is Speaker's Corner and here is its story. Welcome to London. Since the mid-1800s, Speaker's Corner has become the traditional site for public speeches and debates, and also protests and demonstrations that took place in Hyde Park. Speaker's Corner nowadays is located on the northeast edge of Hyde Park, and the nearest tube station is Marble Arch. And you'll find it quite near the junction of Park Lane and Oxford Street. Figures such as Karl Marx, Lenin and George Orwell were often known to use this to demonstrate free speech. It was in 1872 an Act of Parliament set aside this part of Hyde Park for public speaking. And even today, on Sunday mornings, it's not unusual to find crowds gathered at Speaker's Corner to listen enthusiastically to debates, whether or not they agree or not is uh, entirely up to them. Now, anyone can turn up unannounced and speak on any subject as long as the police consider their speeches are lawful and not insightful. It was close to this spot, about 250 years ago, that people were still being hanged at the Tyburn Tree Gallows. There was another video about that elsewhere on the channel. Everyone who was condemned to die at Tyburn could make a final speech. Some confessed. Others protested innocence. Some criticised the authorities and government of the day. For the onlookers at the executions, the Tyburn Tree was a big social event. In fact, tickets were sold to watch the executions and you could even sit in a grandstand, a huge wooden platform that was there for richer people to watch the hangings. Eventually, the authorities decided the crowds at these executions were too rowdy and they were transferred to Newgate Prison becoming non-public spectacles in around about 1850. But the tradition of protest at Hyde Park continues to this day. The origins of the Speaker's Corner, as we know it today, stem from around 1866, when a meeting of the Reform League demanded the extension of the franchise that was suppressed by the government. There were marches and protests, and long had they convened or terminated at Hyde Park, usually at Speaker's Corner itself. At one demonstration, finding the park locked, demonstrators tore up hundreds and hundreds of yards of railing to gain access, and there was a three-day riot that followed. A few years later, that led to the Parks Regulations Act of 1872, and the right to meet and speak freely in Hyde Park was established through a series of regulations. The speaking area for Hyde Park, as defined in legislation, extends far beyond Speaker's Corner, but it's here where most people congregate. From 1906 to just before the First World War in 1914, the suffragette movement held large and small gatherings in Hyde Park as part of their campaign for the suffrage and votes for women. In 1906, during the summer, they held a meeting every week near to the Reformers' Tree. And during Women's Day of the 21st of June 1908, they estimated 250,000 women marched to Hyde Park to hear 20 different speaking platforms. The police banned the Women's Social and Political Union in 1913 from meeting in the park, but suffragettes defiantly continued to do so. In modern times, Speaker's Corner was a huge focus point for a rally in February 2003 against military action in Iraq. They estimate the number of people who marched that day were between one and two million. The speakers that supported that march included the actress Vanessa Redgrave, there were human rights campaigners, including, I believe, Bianca Jagger, uh, former members of parliament, uh, even playwright Harold Pinter uh, turned up to give a speech that day. Since the Act of Parliament in 1872, Speaker's Corner has provided the focal point for everyone to express their views about a wide range of subjects, from everything, including votes for women, world wars, and even Sunday trading has been discussed at Speaker's Corner. Thank you very much for watching today. We do hope you enjoy these videos. And if you do, please hit subscribe. And if you want to know when videos are uploaded, there is a notification bell just down below. 
And if you want to see what we do outside of these videos, then in the description below is all about James's YouTube channel, which is called Last Nine Films, or go to historylord.co.uk and see about one of my walking tours of London. Thanks for watching. Hotly debated as always. Take care.